you will get 4 lp job or 20 lp job is depend on how good problem solver you are in this video we are going to discuss about how much dsa you need to grab a 4 to 7 lp job or 15 to 20 lp job how to start learning dsa what are the some best resources for learning dsa how many question you need to solve to master a topic and what are the common mistakes that you should avoid to get a good placement? First thing first, how much DSA you need to know grab a 4 to 7 LP job? Generally, service based companies or very small startups give 4 to 7 LPA, and for that, you should know a basics of development and good aptitude skills. If you have a good mathematical and development skills, then they hardly ask any DSA question. Even they ask a DSA question. They will ask question on the array, strings and some basic data types. And generally these are the basic implementation based question. So you don't need to practice much on the DSA. But if you want to get 12 to 20 LP job, in that case you should know all the basic data structure like array, strings, object, linked list, stack, queues, binary tree. And you should have at least knowledge of like easy to medium level question. Now let's see how to learn DSA. Currently I am teaching DSA in JavaScript live on my YouTube channel. So if you want to learn DSA, want to solve at least 200 to 250 problems and cover all DSA topics from arrays to graph, from uh, recursions to DP, then this series is for you. So here we are starting from the basic loop. We will understand about the for loop, while loop, do by loop. We will solve 10 plus problems. So the first step before learning DSA is understanding the programming language. Let's say you are learning C++, Java, whatever language you are learning. First of all, learn the programming concept, the conditional statement, language, um, loops, functions, and what are the methods. So you have to learn those methods. They are an inbuilt method. So let's say if you are learning array, so you should know about the math, filter, index, index of, include, this kind of method you should know. When you learn about the programming concept, now you have to learn in depth of array, string, objects and there is some map and set built-in data structure in javascript so if you cover this five built-in data structure array string object map and set and few common algorithms like recursion linear and binary search and the sorting algorithm where you have to learn about the bubble sort insertion sort selection sort merge and quick sort if you cover this topic only then you can crack almost all the startups along with your development skills but if you are targeting for mnc's mnc's are some custom data structures too so for that you have to learn about the linked list stack queues binary tree graph and few advanced topics like dynamic programming greedy algorithms backtracking these are the enough if you want to crack any company if you learn all this topic and solve easiest to medium level question and at least 200 to 250 quality question then you can crack any company now how to learn that i will share the link in the description so first of all what you will do you will watch the 20 minute of video after watching the video you will forget whatever you have watched in the video so what you have to do you have to read the notes i have provided all the source code whatever we are covering in the video you will get the notes so read the notes learn revise whatever you have learned in the video and after revising all the concept that you learn from the video you have to go and check out the practice question here are the practice question that you have to solve because it is loops i give four question but when we go through the array string then you will solve 10 to 15 question on each topic so let's say if you go through the link list in the link list you will solve all the source code you will see the all the classes like how to insert print reward now if you are learning custom data structure, don't only learn the theory. I see lots of students who know stack is the LIFO, Q is the FIFO, but they don't know how to implement it. They know uh, they use the custom library which uh, their programming language provide, but you should know how to implement them. This is the mistake that lots of developers do. They don't know internal working of stack Q. So make sure you know how to implement this. So after implementing, after learning the implementation, you have to solve easy to medium level question. So here are the few questions that you can solve and I have shared all the videos, source code, practice question in this github repo. So what you have to do, watch the video, see the source, uh, see the source code, revise through the source code and then solve those questions. These 15-16 questions on each topic will be enough. 
we will be solving 200 to 250 quality question all this question will teach you a new concept that will help you to improve your problem solving skills now let's talk about the few mistakes that lots of students do in the initial phase of learning dse the very first thing they give up when you see the first video of loop you will feel like that you don't know anything but once you watch a complete video you revise the source code and practice 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 you will feel the confident after some time maybe for the first 10 days maybe for the first 15 days you are not feeling confident but make sure you don't give up or at least solve two to three questions every single day to improve your problem solving skill second mistake that loads of students do they don't follow the structure part one day they are following one playlist second day they are following another playlist third day they are following another playlist you have to watch one playlist and complete that playlist after completing that playlist you can go to other but if you start any playlist complete that playlist to the end and then you can solve any random question in this series also we are first of all solves 200 to 250 easy medium level problem so that we can crack any MNCs after that we will solve some random problems to learn few advanced concept but first of all you have to learn easy to medium because in the interview medium level question is asked very rarely hard level DSA question asked if you are into the development if you are into the DSA only then they may ask the hard DSA but if you are into development the most probably they will ask easy to medium level question is third mistake lots of students do because they see they, they have to solve only this 15 16 question and they are able to solve 5 question 10 question by themselves then to complete this seat just to complete this seat they will remember the rest 5 question no you don't have to do that you have to solve all the question and you have to solve all the question by yourself if you are not able to understand the intuition you can check out the source code but after checking the source code don't memorize it learn the intuition what is the intuition behind that solution and write the code with yourself don't just copy paste the code write code and do dry run and once you satisfy that this code is right then only submit the code fourth mistake a student do is they compare themselves with their friend right now we have 400 plus student in my community who are learning dsa in javascript but sometimes what they do they see their friend start the dsa with them but their friend is doing very good because all of you have the different problem solving capacity and some of your friends are doing better than you and you are doing better than some of your friends you don't have to compare it with your friend you have to compare it with yourself how good you were 15 days ago and how good are you right now so you have to compare it with yourself otherwise you will be very demotivating seeing your friends or your friends will be demotivating seeing you so what you have to do don't compare it with others all of the student have different capacity and you have to work on your capacity and you have to compare only with yourself so this is it for this video if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section i will see you next time